In this video, I am going to solve the second question from chapter 12, Equilibrium and Elasticity. So here the second question is question number 14. Actually this question is related with the topic Elasticity. Let's read the question. A 1500 kilogram load is hung from the free end of aluminum rod of length 7 centimeter. So you have the aluminum rod which length is exactly 7 centimeter and its diameter is 9.6 centimeter and we have to consider its mass is negligibly small. Okay. So here better I can draw the diagram. So I am going to draw the diagram. One end of the rod. Let's we keep as a fixer because we are applying the the mass only to the edge, only to the end of the aluminum rod. So let's we take this is our aluminum rod. Clear? Okay. Now in this place we are applying the mass. We are substituting the mass in this edge. So the total length of the rod is exactly 7 centimeter and its diameter is 9.6. When you apply this, when you substitute, when you suspend this 500, so 1500 uh, mass here, what will happen to the rod? It will deflect to some angle, right? Actually here, when you suspend the mass in this place, it, it will create the shearing stress. When you give the mass based on the shearing stress, the angle of shear will be created to the rod. So when you place this 1500 to the edge of the aluminum rod, what will happen to the rod? The rod will deflect. So its deflection will be like this. Its deflection will be like this, right? Because it's very heavier, am I right? So when you suspend this 1500, what will happen? The rod will deflect by that. It will be like this and from that we will get the angle 5. Clear? And this total length is L. Clear? And now this is the angle. So why this angle created? This angle is created based on the mass applied to the free end of the aluminum rod. The other end of the rod is fixed in place. So you have to see this side is fixed to the some wall or something you can just consider. So one end of the rod is fixed to a place and in the free end we substitute the mass of 1500 kilogram and by that the rod get deflected to an angle theta. So the total length of the rod is 7 centimeter and its diameter is 9.6 centimeter. The shear modulus of the aluminum is 3 multiplied by 10 power 10 newton per meter. So each and every material has its shear modulus value. So here we are using the aluminum material. So the aluminum shear, shear modulus is 3 multiplied by 10 power 10 newton per meter square. And we have two questions. In the first part, we are going to find what should be the shear stress on the rod. Why the shear stress has happened? because of this 1500 kilogram because we apply we we substitute this mass in the free end so that means when you apply the mass to the free end what will happen the uh, tangential force will be applied to the free end right so by that the, the the rod deflected so first question we are going to find what should be the shear stress so before that i'm going to write what are the things given in the question the mass of the the mass we apply to the free end of the rod is 15 100 kilogram the length of the aluminum rod is 7 centimeter which is equal to 0 0.07 meter and the diameter of the rod is 9.6 centimeter which is 0 0.096 meter and the shear modulus of the aluminum is so shear modulus of aluminum rod and its value is 3 multiplied by 10 power 10 Newton per meter square. So now by using this, what we are going to find? We are going to find what should be the value for shear stress. What is the value of the shear stress? We already studied in the theory. Shear stress, all the times the stress formula is 
force over area. So here the shear stress formula is given by the rule force over area, right? Force over area. So here the force value is not given, but the mass you substitute on the, the mass you suspended to the free end of the rod is 1500. So we can easily find the force by using the formula F, which is equal to mg, right? So F over A, you will get here F is equal to mg. And after I multiply the mass with the gravity, I have to use this value here. Clear? And then area, the cross section of the aluminum rod is nothing but the area of the circle. That's what they give the value of the diameter. So from the diameter, we can easily find the radius. What's the radius? Radius, which is equal to diameter over 2. So here the diameter is 0 0.096 over 2, which is equal to 0 0.048 meter. Clear? And now I'm going to find what is the shear stress. So shear stress. Shear stress F over A, which is equal to M multiplied by G over pi R square. So I'm going to find the value of the shear stress. The mass is 1500 multiplied by 9.8 divided by pi value multiplied by 0 0.048 square. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom, and then after that, I'm going to divide. So 1500 multiplied by 9.8. I got 14789.8. Pi multiplied by R square, 0 0.048 square. Actually, this is 8, okay? Seven point two three eight multiplied by 10 power minus 3. Now, I am going to divide. 14700 divided by 7.238 10 power minus 3 I got 2030947.7 it's a very big number so better I can write this number in terms of power therefore f over area which is equal to 2.03 Multiply by 10 power 6, I think so, right? Yeah, 10 power 6. And what's the unit? Newton over meter square. So this is the answer for the first question. Clear? Now we have the second part. What is given in the second part of the question? Find the vertical deflection of the rod's free end. Actually, here the deflection is how much the rod gets deflected, which is delta x, right? So we are going to find how much the rod is deflected after you uh, substitute, after you suspend the mass of 1500 kilogram in the free end. So when you uh, suspend this 1500 kilograms to the free end of the aluminum rod, it will be deflected to an angle. Uh, by that, here the deflection here mentioned as delta x. So now in the second question, we are going to find the value of the delta x. So for that, we have to write the rule for shear modulus, which we already studied in the theory, right? So for getting the answer for the B part, we have to write the formula for the shear modulus. So shear modulus S is equal to force over area, which is shear stress over angle, which is nothing but shearing angle or angle of stress. And now if you want to find the angle, we can easily get the value of the, the formula for the angle from the diagram, right? So what is the, what is the value for this angle? The value for the angle is 
how much it will be deflected divided by the total length of the rod so the angle which is equal to delta x over l how much the rod get deflected so here the deflection is delta x and what is the over the total length of the rod which is l here we are going to keep and the value of the l is already mentioned in the question which is 7 centimeter so in place of angle i am going to use this formula therefore the shear modulus of aluminum which is equal to f over a right over delta x over l right now i have to rearrange this equation so if you rearrange this equation you will get the shear modulus of the aluminum which is equal to this l will go to the numerator so by that your equation will become f over a multiplied by l over delta x right and we are going to find how much it will be deflected that value is delta x so i can bring this delta x to the left hand side of the numerator i am going to move this s to the right hand side of the denominator so by that the equation will become f over a multiplied by l over the shear modulus of the aluminum which is a constant value uh, that is already mentioned in the question now i am going to substitute the value here we already found the value of this shear stress in the first question f over a we already found from the first part what is the value of f over a 2.03 multiplied by 10 power 6 so i am going to use this value 2.03 2.03 multiply by 10 power 6 multiply by what is the length of the rod which is 7 centimeters so i have to convert it to meter so 0 0.07 divided by the bulk mod sorry the shear modulus of the aluminum which they already mentioned in the question as 3 multiplied by 10 power 12 right so i'm going to use this value here 3 multiplied by 10 power 10 so now i'm going to calculate the deflection delta x 2.03 10 power 6 multiplied by 0 0.07 over 3 10 power 10 i got the answer as 4.74 4. 4. 74 multiply by 10 power minus 6 4 point this is point okay so 10 power minus 6 what's the unit for the deflection so the difference should be in terms of meter so this is the answer for the second question clear